Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Body, Soul, and Spirit podcast. We've been diving in on how to navigate our emotions during the holiday season as we enter into these times when we're supposed to be with loved ones and spending time. And it's the most joyous time of the year, right? It's the most wonderful time of the year, as that song goes. But somehow things get triggered. And sometimes when you really study, researchers have found that it's really not, as the song said, the most wonderful time of the year, although it is. But oftentimes it is the greatest uh, times and seasons of depression. People commit suicide. There's uh, a lot of sadness, anxiety, stress, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt is surfaced. Uh, there's a lot of things that go, come into play during the holiday season. So we've been talking about how to navigate these emotions. And today I want to talk about how, to, how do I break these cycles. I'm sure none of my listeners want to go into 2024 just continuing these cycles. We want to get healed. We want to be healthy people mentally, emotionally. We want to be able to have a good relationship with pain. We want to be able to people that we want to be able to be people that heal well. We want to be able to uh, move in a forward motion. Nobody wants to be stuck. Nobody wants to be spinning their wheels. We all want to be able to be individuals that are healthy mentally, healthy emotionally, healthy in our soul, healthy in our heart, healthy in our mind. And the fourth step on how to navigate our emotions would be to unburden, unburden our emotions. A lot of these emotions that we feel are deeply rooted. They're rooted in pain. Some of these emotions that we might be feeling, we've got to take a look at unburdening. And I want you to think about that for a moment. The anger that you feel, the anxiousness anxiousness that you feel, the stress, the perhaps... Uh, sadness that you feel, uh, all these emotions that are there, it could be more than a situation that you're facing. There's probably something that's deeply rooted. Now, I want to think in terms of unburdening it. You know, uh, there's a quote, a famous quote that was written by uh, one of the authors and that of a book that I had read, and it's Suffer what you have to suffer, but don't suffer what you don't have to suffer. In other words, what they were trying to say and what it means is that you might feel a little bit of anger, but sometimes when emotions get bigger and bigger and bigger, it's because we're suffering something from the past. In other words, the emotions that are being triggered right now during the holidays I guess the question that we have to ask ourselves, do I need to unburden something? Is what I'm feeling coming and stemming from something in my past? Perhaps you have a past pain, a past hurt, and now you're bringing it into the present. And now that pain that you felt in the past is actually being brought forth into the present. So what we have to do is we have to unburden it. How do I know that I have to unburden, unload, right? Uh, Release, if you will. Well, one way to detect if I'm bringing the past to the present is because we overreact. When we are emotionally charged, right, with situations, Let's say you're facing a situation right now. Let's say it's nothing big. Let's say somebody canceled on you or something happened, but you overreact. You lose your temper uh, over something really minor. You lose your temper over something that maybe somebody said. You lose your temper. You're overreacting over a mistake that you made. You lose it. You get angry and you're, you're like, oh my God, why am I overreacting? And these are extreme emotions that happen when the situation didn't warrant it. The situation didn't really merit it. Let's say, for example, you have anxiety, right? And the anxiety starts because maybe somebody changed plans and now you overreact. Let's say you start to panic. Let's say you start to make a decision and you just overreacted because an emotion got triggered. 
And perhaps it doesn't match with, you know, maybe the situation. You overreacted. You did something in impulse. You said something. You feel something. And you, you're you overreacting. You get extremely sad because you weren't invited. And now it leads you to some depression. And it goes down a rabbit hole. You go down a downward spiral. Somebody maybe gives you feedback and they give you like, hey, you know, and they want to just give you some feedback. But now you're so hurt and it leads you down this rejection. And there's major reactions to it. You are emotionally reacting and it's really not in proportion to what's going on. And that's probably the, the, a, a way to detect that you need to unburden what's really going on. You know, we could call it like this and I, I don't, you've heard the saying, this is the last straw and it just broke the camel's back. In other words, something happened and now you reacted you overreact. You're making decisions out of an emotional response. You overreacted because something is deeper that demands your attention. Something happened in the past. It's similar to an emotion you're feeling in the present. And now you're being ambushed in the present. Something in the past did not get healed. And that's a part of you that perhaps wants to be healed. But now you're being hijacked by your own present. So if you follow the trail, you'll probably find that something in the past is reminding you of the current situation. You're upset. You feel betrayed because somebody maybe canceled on you. And now you feel betrayed. They just canceled. They had something to do. But now you feel betrayed. Maybe you have a, a past where people have abandoned you. Or they've ghosted you. They've ignored you. They, they maybe have, you know, left you, betrayed you, hurt you in the past. And now because somebody cancels on you, it feels like that. It's a trigger. It's an association. When something in the present happens that triggers your emotions, more than likely as you overreact, people that overreact, and I think we've all been guilty of it. I've been guilty in my present to overreact. It's because we have buried emotions. And when that happens, it's really an opportunity for us to really unburden the emotions, separate it. What's really going on? Why am I overreacting? Why are, am I letting this get to me so much? What's really happening? Do I need to release something? I, am I bringing the past into the present? Am I overreacting because it reminds me of something? These are questions to ask ourselves. As we dive deeper into our next podcast, I want you to think about this week and go and ask yourself this question. Do I overreact? And what's really happening in that overreaction? 